What's up, Dragon Family? Welcome back to my channel. Been a little while since I've uploaded. I'm not used to going so many days in a row without uploading anymore, and it's been about five days since I last uploaded. I had a wedding this weekend, and I did the makeup for the wedding. It was just a very, very long weekend. So I just couldn't get around to uploading. Anywho, today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys, and as always, I like to start off my hauls with my favorite thing I found this week at Dollar Tree, and I was so happy to find these because I got a great idea. So what was I most excited to find? It was the seashell looking lip glosses. I love the packaging on these things. Now, of course, I'm not gonna use the lip gloss. I'm not a fan of lip gloss. That's my least favorite makeup product. I have long hair. I don't like when it gets stuck inside of, um, on top of my mouth, and I always wear my hair down. People always ask me, like, why don't I put it in a ponytail? Ponytail. I don't like putting my hair in a ponytail. I don't like the way it looks. I only put my hair in a ponytail if it's really, really hot or I'm swimming. So I found them in three different colors. The first one that I just opened up is this blue one. And it has like really pretty glitter on the front of it. The lip gloss itself, there's some shimmer in there, but it has more of a metallic finish to it. I don't really know if y'all are into wearing blue lip gloss. And this one has like a raspberry smell to it. Has that lip gloss sticky feeling to it. Just not a fan. But what I want to do is I want to somehow take the lip gloss out just to pot it clean it up and then put like eyeshadows inside of this or I have bronzers which is what I tend to wear on my face and in my eyes like I use it as an eyeshadow that would fit perfectly in this so I kind of want to just take it and use it to store other makeup inside of if I do end up doing that I will definitely show it in the tutorial the next color I got is this pink one this is probably my favorite out of the three because I'm a big fan of pink let's look in the inside see if it's pink as well and yes it's pink inside of there it's a little bit of a darker pink has the same type of finish as the blue one and this one smells like strawberry and the last one I got is this white one now let's see what this smells like I don't know what they would do for white it smells like coconut well, that's pretty cool I don't know if this isn't on the packaging what it's supposed to smell like so the blue one says that it's bubblegum scented and now smelling it I could definitely smell the bubblegum and the pink one says that it's watermelon scented let me see yeah, I smell the watermelon now. Now that I read it, yeah, it does smell like that. And this one says that it is coconut. This one is the clearest lip gloss of them all, but there is like a white shimmer to it. So I wouldn't use any of these because I'm not a fan of lip gloss, like I said, but I really wanted to pop them. So I was excited to find these. I actually have like five different items to show you guys this week that I was really excited to find. The next one is these little cosmetic bags. Now these don't feel like the cosmetic bags Dollar Tree normally carries. Like, they're normal ones that are usually like about this big. They kind of have like, they almost feel like paper to me. Like they just aren't very thick or even like the windbreaker material. Sometimes it feels like that. These bags are way better quality. They feel more like what a cosmetic bag should feel like. So I got two different designs. They had, I think like four or five different ones. I got this pineapple one, which is my favorite of the two. I think this one is so cute. And then I got this one that has flowers and like leaves on it, but it's very summery. So like I said, these are better quality than what Dollar Tree normally carries. Let me look in the inside and feel around in the inside. In the inside, it feels like, I don't know what the material is. It doesn't say. So you can carry a couple of things in here like your lipstick, maybe a little powder. You can't fill this up too much. I definitely think these are worth that dollar. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was really, 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 really happy to find this thing. Okay, if you don't poop, good for you. Okay, good for you. I can't stand when like you talk about like pooping or peeing. Not not like it should be an everyday thing that you're talking about, but like something like this, you know, when people are like, oh, don't talk about poop, I don't poop. Good for you, you should probably go see a doctor about that. But I was able to find Poop Be Gone. Now there's this product called Poopery. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Basically, if you're afraid you're gonna do like a stinky poop, um, you spray the toilet bowl with the spray and then it creates like this film over the water that holds the scent of said poop inside of there. And yes, I've used it before and yes, it really, really does work. And poopery costs around $10. That's the normal retail price I see for it. I also see this one called VI Poo and that one is $7.99. I can't believe how many times I'm saying poo inside of this haul. But anyways, I was able to find like, I guess a knockoff from Dollar Tree. I don't know if this is, yeah, this is made by the Dollar Tree brand, Greenbrier. So I got this one that is called Lavender Vanilla Scent and then this one that is a fresh citrus scent. The only thing this one was leaking, I didn't realize that, so it kind of sucked. The directions on the back of this says, before you go shake well, spray three to five times into the bowl over the water. The natural oil seal in the smell. Leave the bathroom smelling better than when you entered. So like I said, you just take this, you spray the inside of the bowl, then you use the bathroom and it holds the scent in. So I don't know if this works, haven't tried it, but if it works, I would definitely go buy more because 
these things don't retail for a dollar. Well, actual poopery and VI poo, they don't retail for a dollar. I've never seen anything like this. So you know you could just get your little wristlet and use it to store your poo be gone. Another item I was happy to find, I have been seeing other Dollar Tree haulers haul this item and when I finally found them, I was happy to find them, but they look way bigger in the pictures and I could see why they would look bigger in pictures when you're not comparing it to something else. And basically it's these hexagon tea light holders. I was happy to find them but in the pictures they did look bigger to me. They're not like as big as they do look in pictures. You see compared to my hand. So I picked up three of them. I don't necessarily like the black color to them. I feel like it needs a little bit more so I'll probably end up spray painting these or doing something else to them. But yeah, I was excited to find these at Dollar Tree, especially since it has this shape. Like this shape is like a very popular shape when you're like buying from actual like home furniture decor websites. So yeah, to find this at Dollar Tree, I was happy to find it. Why did I say happy like hopper? So I hauled some of these last week. It's the Tsum Tsum characters. Dollar Tree has the Disney Tsum Tsum characters in. Now in these packs there's different characters. You can collect them all and it's from their Series 2 um, collection. There's different series and this is Series 2. So I was able to find more characters this week and let me tell you guys you're getting a deal with you guys, I'm sorry for the noise. It's like always trucks passing by. But anyways, yeah, you're getting a deal at a dollar for these. So the first pack I got has Scrump, which I hauled Scrump last week, but it was a medium-sized one. Flounder, which Flounder is my favorite one out of the four ones I purchased this week. And then Elsa. This next one has Mickey, Olaf, and Chip. Chip, I hauled a smaller one of last week. Why is the color like really, really blue all of a sudden? What is going on? Listen up, here's a story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue like him. Inside and outside, blue is house with a blue. Okay, I gotta stop. I don't know what's going on right now. Maybe it's because the sun went away. Anywho, this pack has Dumbo. Dumbo definitely is the creepiest looking one of all of them to me. Doesn't look like Dumbo. It just looks creepy. And then it has Sven, I think that's how you say it, from Frozen. And then Baymax from Big Hero. And then this next pack has some really, really cute ones. Piglet, Thumper, and then Alice. And Thumper, oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Piglet and Thumper. Flounder's my favorite out of these four, then it's Thumper and then Piglet. For a dollar, this is a great buy. These things don't retail for a dollar at like Target and Walmart. And also I want to tell you guys, the first time I found these last week, um, I found them near the toys. This time around I went to Dollar Tree and I found these at the front of the registers where they have like their novelty items. That's where I found them. So look around your Dollar Tree, they could be hidden. Dollar Tree right now has a bunch of different sticky notes in and they are so cute. They have so many different designs that are adorable. I only picked up one pack because I don't need that many sticky notes. This pack has a little fishbowl that says anything is possible and it has two little notepads um, or sticky notes that are fishes and one is orange one is pink i think this is so so cute and they had other ones that were really cute this is just definitely my favorite out of the bunch the next item i got is this dove intensive cream that comes in this small little tin that you can put inside of your cosmetic pouch okay I'm joking. I mean, you could, but yeah. Anyways, this stuff I really, really like, and I like the smaller size of it because, you, like I said, you could put it inside of a pouch, you could put it in your purse, and you can nourish your hands whenever it might be needed. What am I talking about? This next item, I really just wanted to show you guys. I don't know what I will end up doing with this, but I wanted to show you guys they have this as well. I hauled, um, I think it was last week or a couple of weeks back ago, I hauled some invitations wedding invitations from bride magazine which were really really great for a dollar like the best buy i've ever bought at dollar tree just because you save so much money well i went to a different dollar tree they still had some invitations left at the dollar tree but it was the black one that has like a black lace look to it anyways i was able to find this pack of 12 antique heart keys now these you put on like party favorites you can even like hang them off of an invitation i just don't know exactly how you do that but this is great for like a wedding favor you wrap it around like if you're giving away little succulents or maybe little jars that have jam inside of them i know people do that for like rustic barn type of weddings so they do have these in right now like i said i don't know what i personally will do with these I'm sure I could use them for some type of DIY, but I just really wanted to share that with you guys. So that's the main reason why I purchased them. I thought all Dollar Tree had was the invitations and apparently they do have some like little favor things. So that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question. And last week, I wanted to know which Disney princess you are most like by taking this quiz that I linked down in the description box. There was three princesses I kept seeing. Now, the one I saw the most was Jasmine. And then I saw Merida a lot, which is the um, princess for Brave and then uh, Cinderella which is the one that I got. 
Thank you to everybody who took that quiz. I thought it was awesome. And thank you to everybody who actually told me the description that the quiz said of your characters. Because the only one I saw was Cinderella. That's the only one that I did. And I wasn't going to take the quiz a thousand times to see the descriptions for all the other princesses. So thank you to everybody who left the descriptions for like Ariel, Merida. It was cool to see. So for this week's question, I was... So for this week's question, I was inspired off of something I saw on my phone. Today I was on my phone, I saw that NSYNC got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So I want to know what is your favorite boy band of all time. It doesn't matter, you know, what year it was. It doesn't have to be the 90s. I know there's NSYNC, there's One Direction, there's um, Jackson 5, there's New Edition. And I don't necessarily mean that they have to have that pop type of sound. I'm basically trying to say a bunch of males that make up a band. But of course there would have to be like multiple singers in the band because if it's just like one or two singers and then everybody else plays um, instruments, they're not necessarily a boy band. You know what I mean by a boy band. Anyways, for me, you know, I think most of you guys know what I'm going to say. Backstreet Boys all the way. I actually had to go change my shirt for this one. This is uh, back in the day though when it was like Kevin wasn't in the band. Right now he's a part of the band again but he left for a while and they had a few CDs without him. Backstreet Boys is my favorite boy band of all time. Like they got some great hits besides you know I want it that way. So let me know your favorite boy band down in the comments below and I will see you guys next time which is actually tomorrow because I'm going to be uploading a tutorial for you guys. I'll see you guys then. Take care. Bye.